Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts, and this week's video is going to be a little different. Um, instead of walking through, a, you know, a problem and a solution, we want to, you know, do the the unveiling of a tool. Um, so we've been building something in the background called the Tableau Whiteboarding Workbook, and we want to take a minute to talk you through it and drop a link to it below. Uh, so I have been working remote almost exclusively for a few years now. I've done a grand total of one day of in-person work uh, since the pandemic started in March, 2020. And that's mostly a good thing. I get to be at home, be around my family, my wife, my kid. Um, you get a little stir crazy sometimes, you gotta get out, but, uh, but it's mostly good. One of the things I have missed most about in-person work is the ability to be able to do whiteboarding in real time. Um, because when you're, you know, designing a data product and, you know, you're working with somebody, hey, what about this visual? What about that one? You know, the whiteboard is so nice because you can sketch something so quickly. So my go-to move in recent years, I suppose, has been sketches on a legal pad that I'm holding up to my computer screen. I've tried some online whiteboarding tools and I've just found them to be a little bit too clunky, a little bit hard to, to switch, uh, you know, shapes versus freehand versus whatever. And then also I've just felt very limited by the size of my computer, right? Like, not that I have a little tiny baby computer, but like you just only have so much space to work with as opposed to a whiteboard where you have pretty much unlimited space. So I thought, why don't we create a tool that makes whiteboarding for Tableau projects easier? And that's the Tableau whiteboarding workbook. So what I've done in this workbook is I've thrown together a bunch of the most uh, practical uh, charts that I use in sort of my day-to-day -day consulting um, it's not, a, it's not a totally comprehensive list. It's not every chart type that you can create in Tableau, but it's all the practical ones that I could think of, whether it's different styles of maps or line graphs or highlight tables. And what it's really meant to do is give a pretty wide perspective of some of the different types of charts. So that if I was talking to somebody and I said, you know, we really wanna talk about which of our products are uh, performing better or worse than last year. I could just take something like my di diverging bar chart I go to one of my kind of placeholder dashboards at the back of this, and then I can just kind of throw this in here and diverging bar chart will be sheet number one, right? And then I could just say something like, you know, product performance versus last year. And now I've just made a little note to myself of what that chart represents. So that's the idea and the inspiration behind this workbook. Um, I would love if you have a chance to download it, to check it out. Um, I would love your feedback as well, because I tried to do a pretty comprehensive list of different types of charts that you might want. But to be honest, I'm sure that there will be some ideas that come from the audience that I didn't think about. And, and there are some chart types I thought about and I decided not to build because I thought, you know, that's, a, you know, that chart alone takes an hour to build. I don't know how practical it is. Uh, so that is the Tableau whiteboarding workbook. So yeah, we look forward to hearing your feedback, seeing what you're able to do with it. Um, and we appreciate you, you know, chiming in and, and helping out and supporting us. And we look forward to bringing you more great content next week. Thanks.